Hello students, welcome back to my online class. Today we are going to discuss our fifth chapter and the name of the chapter is Chetak. Chetak is uh, the name of the Rana Pratap's horse and here we are going to know about the story and the story is based on his uh, horse and his weather. So I will suggest to go through the uh, text after listening the summary of the story here I am going to discuss the summary of the story so that you can understand the theme and the entire story very nicely so let's start the story is about a famous battle of Haldighati and the Vela shown by Rana Pratap and his horse Chetak as I told the name of the horse of Rana Pratap is Chetak the Mughal Emperor Akbar was keen on annexing Mewar. So, Rana Pratap was the king of Mewar. Akbar had given his best fighting forces and elephants to his new ally Manching so that Manching could defeat Rana Pratap. The Rana was well aware that despite the courage of his soldiers, they were no match for the formidable Mughal army. They knew, Rana Pratap knew that the Mughal army is very huge and very strong. But still he was very courageous. His only hope was to launch a surprise attack on the army at the narrow pass of Haldighati. He decided to attack all of a sudden in the narrow passes of Haldighati. The story also narrates some conversations among the Rajput soldiers which show their admiration for the Rana and speak of the love which the Rana had for his faithful war horse, Chetak. A bloody battle ensued and the Mughal after a while had to retreat and regroup under Manshin. Although he knew that victory was almost impossible, the Rana ordered Chetak to charge on. Despite exhaustion, an injury and tiredness, Chetak, the horse, faithfully followed his master's order and charged straight at Mansing and his elephant. Chetak even managed to hit the giant tusker on his head. The enraged tusker swung away and injured Chetak. Even then, Chetak didn't give up and he gave chase to Mansing who had descended from the elephant. However, Man Singh was too well protected and one of the Rajput soldiers begged the Rana to ride to safety so that he could fight another day. Faltering slightly, Cheta galloped away into the forest and didn't collapse till they reached the Rajput camp. Although he was fatally wounded, the Rana ordered his men to see to the horse first. As the Rana watched his beloved horse die, he cast his head and declared of the horse as the true hero of the battle of Haldighati. So here the story comes to an end. We are uh, knowing here uh, how the horse Chetak of Rana Pratap, how it fought in the battlefield. So I hope you understood the story or rather I can say the summary of the story. You must go through uh, the entire story to understand it nicely. So this much for today. Thank you.